What's going on, people? We are Tottenham TV here, back from our predicted lineup video. I've got Mishe back on We Are Tottenham TV, Come on, on it, making his debut for the live predictions as well. <laughs> How you feeling? Hopeful. Yeah. I'm hopeful, but I don't think I should be. <laughs> 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 because honestly, bro, with the injuries we've got and our past performances. Listen, I just need a win. That's all I need, bro. One more injury in centre mid and maybe we're going to call you up. <laughs> <laughs> and the amount of times I've been called um, Dombele, I'm just, I'm over it now, bro. I'm over it, I'm over it. I'm over maybe it. we'll get your signature after. Um, <laughs> massive game this weekend. Wolves at home. Um, very close in the league table we are to them. We've got to get a result this weekend. We just have to get a yeah, result. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think it's going to be an easy game by any means. Do you know what I mean? Some people might see Wolves and be like, oh, yeah, you know, if you don't know a lot about Wolves or you haven't seen them play, you might think, yeah, you know, we might do all right, but listen. They got I, some ballers. They got team. some ballers in that team, bro. We spoke about it with the throw away and yeah. you gave me a few players as well and I was just like, but it's not going to be, it's not going to be an easy game. I don't think it'll be, it'll, it'll, we'll be tested, especially the way we've been playing. Yeah, and you got to look back to the Wolves game uh, this season mm. when we won, but it was, really wasn't a clear cut yeah, uh, conclusion like that, that they should have won that game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They played a lot better than us, but let's get into the British lineup. Let's uh, talk about the injured players so far. Yes. So we've got quite a lot of injuries quite, in the, quite, and the list is building and building. <laughs> uh, so Kane's out, yeah. Son's out, yeah. Sessegnon's out, yeah. Sissoko's out and Foyf is out. Bro. It's leaving us a bit bare. <laughs> it's bro. It really and is. Those are two of, like, inclu including in those, is two of our main guys, like, you know, target men, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Kane and Son out, that's like 55 bro. to 60 goals bro. a season. A hundred percent, bro. Like, we don't, that's why I always say, uh, like, we need to have someone up, we need to buy more strikers or yeah. have at least someone that we can, the ball's going to, like, if someone's crossing in a box, for example, um, like, in our last game, I think Bergwijn like, was crossing their box and there was no one in there to finish it off. We just need someone in the box to finish off these, like, not clear-cut chances, but chances that could lead to something. Do you know what I mean? It just seems like we're just toothless up front, you know? We're, yeah, yeah, 100%. The defence is actually getting stronger, albeit we are conceding a lot of chances, but the defence is getting stronger. But <laughs> You just con contradicted yourself. I know, right? I know. <laughs> <laughs> we are conceding, but... But when you look back to like the latter games of Pochettino and the first games of yeah. Mourinho, we were conceding a lot of goals. But mm. recently, you know, we kept a clean sheet to Man City. We only okay. conceded okay. one when to Liverpool. That, yeah. When you put that, that's um, not too bad. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. let's get into the lineup. Let's get into we're this. We're going to go to a four-three-three uh, formation. All right. In goal, there's only one guy to go there's in. Only one guy. Only one guy. Right. Captain Hugo Lloris. He's been absolutely brilliant recently. Brilliant. He? <laughs> he's been brilliant. <laughs> yeah, he's been brilliant still. Um, <laughs> right back. Right back. I, I was saying right back, um, Aurier. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. There's a lot of mixed reaction with Ori. Uh, yeah, but some people say, yeah, right back, he's a bit crap. Or other people say, yeah, he's cool. But even the last game, Tanganga, Tanganga played right back. Yeah. yeah so it's, it's, uh, it's debatable who you'd like to have in, in that right back position. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I love Tanganga, but I just think he had a poor game against Chelsea. I really yeah, think. it wasn't his best game. Um, let's go to left back. It's choice between Davis and Tanganga yeah, really yeah but I, th I feel like Davis is going to get started yeah just me because too. of the, due to reasons you just explained you feel like Tanganga had a poor if you can notice that maybe you know but you know Tanganga is young so he's got a lot of time to like grow into the, to listen, the team I'm by, listen I'm supporting Tanganga yeah you know I mean? I'm support, yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah <Who isn't? laughs> um center backs Toby Sanchez Vertonghen as well yeah. um for me Vertonghen just looks his legs look gone, to be honest. But then Sanchez is always going to be the one who's, who's who's there, though. You don't think? I think Sanchez has really improved the last couple yeah, of years. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Uh, really improved. 100%. Um, I've always been one to talk about Sanchez and to say he, you know, he's a bit clumsy, uh. um, but his speed really gets him out of a few troubles, and he's mm. looked strong recently. Yeah, yeah. Really strong. even watching him play like at games, I'm actually no, I'm actually becoming a fan, I'm more of a fan of, 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 of Sanchez. And he's actually looking stronger in defence than Toby at mm. the moment. Mm. He really is. Mm. Uh, but we'll go for Toby and Sanchez in the middle. Yeah, um, not a bad partnership at all. With the three in the middle, three in the midfield. I think there is only three options. <laughs> there really is. So uh, you've got me. <laughs> <laughs> we've got Tongi and Dombele over here. <laughs> um, nah, so we're going to go for Winks, Lo Celso and Ndombele, yeah. uh, which will leave Jetson on the bench, Oli Skip on the bench, Eric Dyer on the bench. But, you know, Dyer and Skip don't really fill me much confidence. Mm, mm. So then you're happy with... I personally said, I was obviously, obviously saying, I want Ali up front just yeah. to have someone... Because a lot of people were like, why wasn't he playing our last game? And I was agree. I was like, why isn't he playing? Because yeah. who do we have instead? We had Bergwijn more in the attacking attack position. Yeah, it was like Bergwijn and Lucas up front together kind of thing. Uh, but you're, you're not really going to... They're not really our guys to kind of... Do you know what I mean? Like they're not really our, 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 our goal-scoring machine, should I say. 
Yeah, but it's not it's not just that as well. It's like <clears throat> our tactics at the moment is get it to Toby, lump it forward, but if you're going to lump it forward, you can't win it in the air with Bergwijn and Lucas. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it's just like, it doesn't make sense. But that's what I'm saying. We need someone to, to, to that's, that we need someone who's going to finish off and someone that we know we can actually, is going to do something with the mm. ball as far as scoring. Mm. At least Ali, he's a bit tall and can win a few yeah, headers. Yeah, that's what I'm you know saying. What I mean? Why wasn't he playing? Do you know, and what was the real slap in the face here is because Giroud was linked with us. Yeah. <laughs> Don't start me off with that. Bro, Don't start me off with that. <laughs> I literally said in all my previews, if Giroud plays one million percent, he's scoring one million percent. Bro, I, I'm not going to add to you. This sounds mad as a fan, but I couldn't stop laughing. Bro. I was like, that, I, like, what are the chances, bro? And that, their home record as well. Trust it to be us to help them out with their home records. I record. was pissed, I man. Was I was fuming. Fuming. It was bad because I was like... It'll only be us. Like Chelsea have a bad home record, and we help. We give them the win. Do you know what I mean? I could have. It was just. It was like. It was a. I was just fuming, but I just. I was laughing. That's how angry I was. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But usually our vlogs, yeah, our match day vlogs are around ten to fifteen minutes. Yeah, for that game, for the Chelsea game, it's about four minutes. Yeah. <laughs> My brother just halfway through the game was like, "Fuck this," <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. We put our four minute bro, vlog. Bro, that is a mood. That is a whole mood, bro. I agree oh, with that. But anyway, that. right hand side of the attack. Got to be Lucas Moura. Yeah, hundred percent. I, like I was confident in putting Lucas as one of my main guys. I said, listen, I've seen him play. I, we can agree this season. He's he's been one of our guys. You know what yeah, I mean? yeah. So yeah, you got to put him in there, especially like a game like this where we need to get the three points. Do you know what I mean? Left hand side, man uh, Stevie B. <laughs> Stevie B. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a sick celebration. <laughs> oh my days. Yeah, left hand side. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm confident in him being there. Um, and I know he's going to do something as far as setting up play and being involved in play as well. He looks dynamite. Bro, he really looks dynamite. Oh, he's a catalyst. Like you, you just know he's going to do something at least. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's not going to be like one tired player at all. Um, and then obviously the last man in the team who we spoke about already, Deli Ali. Uh, hopefully he'll play a bit of a false nine position. Uh, but if Ali does play there, it gives the option to link up the play with Lucas Bergwijn and, and the link up play between the midfield and the attack as well, which we've been missing. Mm. I'm going to be honest, let me stop you there. Yeah. I'm, I'm really impressed with this lineup that we've chosen, you know. Honestly, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I said this to him, I was like, you know what, hopefully this is the same lineup that we start with because the way you're explaining it, it makes sense. Yeah. It actually makes sense. Well, let's hope Jose thinks the same as us. <laughs> <what I mean. laughs> <laughs> you know what? To, to, to make to make sense of this all, we can't play this Route 1 football. We need to get it on the ground and pass mm. it around yeah, like, yeah. like we know we can. Yeah, 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 but we need to do something with that because we, we, what we don't want to end up in is playing beautiful football and no results. Correct. And no joke, like the Arsenal effect. We don't want that. You know right I mean? now we're playing shit football and shit results. <laughs> so it's like, which way do but you want to go? A few weeks, there was a, a couple matches where it was like shit football, and we'll get okay. we'll get away yeah, with yeah, it. We'll yeah, get yeah. away with it. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, so it's yeah, only yeah. it's only you know getting under our skin now because we're not getting the results. Like we don't I care don't how we get. I want to get away with it. I want to play well and I want to win Bro, football I'm be games. Honest with you. Let's let's be honest right now. Let's say for example we play absolutely shit all the way to the FA Cup final and we win it. Are you gonna care? Obviously not. We're not gonna care. Not. Do you know what I mean? It's only a problem when you don't win. You're not winning as well. Then Correct. it's like we're not even. You're not finessing it correctly. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. Press that R one button. So yeah, man. Um, we, yeah, like you said, we, we do need to start p um, passing and playing football. Like, like, like you said, like we know we can. That's pretty much what we need to do. I mean, All right. So let me just run through that lineup with you one more time. So that's Loris in goal, Aurier right back, Davis left back, with Toby and Sanchez in the middle. Yep. Winks, Lo Celso, and Undombele to make that middle three with Lucas on the right, Bergwijn on the left, Ali yep. up top. Uh, which leaves us with not many options <laughs> on the bench. <laughs> Bro, okay, so who we got on the bench? Mm -hmm. So we've got Tanganga. Yeah. Gaza. Yeah. <laughs> Vertonghen. Getson, who we agreed is looking... Getson's looking good. He's, he's looking, looking good. good. A few nice little cameo points. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. He's uh, not in our he's, he's in our good books at the moment. Yeah, he is in our good books, but Dyer isn't. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to... Yeah, you know, I was waiting. I was, I was going, you see how I can stay quiet? I stay quiet. I was like, let me see who the next guy is. Let me see what he's going to say about him. Um, Dyer just doesn't fill me with confidence whatsoever whenever we, he plays. Mm. And then you've got Skip and Parrot, who probably won't get any minutes anyway. So. <laughs> oh, my God. This guy's... <laughs> no filter, but it's true. It's true, it's true. It's it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. If this is the lineup, what score prediction are you going for? 2-1. you on the spot here. For, for us, like to two us. 2-1 Spurs. 2-1 to us, yeah. Score? They're, gonna, they're definitely scores. going to score. Who's uh, going to score? Ali. Yeah. I know you're going to choose Stevie B. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to say Lucas. No. <laughs> How about you? How about yourself? Uh, it's going to be tight. It's going to be a tight game. I think a lot of goals as well. Yeah. 
I got a feeling we will win. Yeah. I'm not sure why. I've got a feeling we'll win. Sure I don't why. even like to say we're going to win, but I thought that we're going to win. But if we lose, it's long. I, but think, yeah. I think it's going to be a mad game, to be honest. I think it could be similar to the one at Wolves, maybe 3-2 yeah. two or 2-1. Two. You could be right. Maybe I'm going to go 3-2 just three to be two. a bit different <laughs> to you. You know what I mean? So if it's 3-2, the goals I'm going to go for Ali, Stevie B, yeah. and, and Lucas. Ah, we forgot Wait. to mention Lamella as well. He's fit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Deep that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got to get, we've got to see him as well. Maybe Lamella on the bench. And he, he's always brilliant when he comes on. He'll come on. He's always good when he comes on. He'll come on. He'll come on. Yeah, so I'm going 3-2 Spurs. Mishi is going 2-1 Spurs. Um, do you want to let everyone know where they can find you? Yes. Uh, Instagram at Mishe underscore artist. That's M-I-C-H-E-E. Twitter at Mishe artist. And Spotify, Apple Music and all that is just Mishe, Mishe artist as well. If you haven't seen it already, I'm sure you have though, but if you haven't, you've got to check out his YouTube channel because <laughs> there are some really good tunes Thank on there. You, but, um, yeah, that's our predicted lineup. We're going, we're both going for Spurs wins, so you heard it here first. Like, subscribe, comment below what you think the lineup's going to be, what you think the scoreline's going to be. And as always, come on, you Spurs. Come on. <laughs>